Hello and welcome back. Part 3 of the solution of a case in which we are discussing crashing or dying cost trade off. Yes, in the previous two lectures, we tried to understand the process of crashing and ultimately, from the critical path of having duration of 20 days, we have reached three critical paths of having duration of 30 days. Many of you may have a question that why should we not try to crash further this project? Because in case of this path, 1, 2, 2, 5 and 5, 6, the further crashing after 13 days is not possible, which actually we had already examined in the beginning. Yes, after crashing, this can have the minimum period of 13 days that we have reached. These two can be further reduced by one day. But this path cannot be reduced because we have reached the crash time of activity 1, 2 as well as 2, 5 and 5, 6, all the three. So this path cannot be crashed further or rather any activity on this path cannot be crashed further. So even if we crash this two critical paths, the duration cannot be, rather critical path duration cannot be less than 13 days in any further trial. So we should stop crashing after this seventh trial and that's why we can say that this project cannot be completed in a duration less than 13 days. Yes, cannot be completed. This project is going to take at least 13 days to complete but the optimal duration is 17 days because it has the lowest possible cost. Cost. Now let's try to plot the relationship between time and cost on a graph. Please take a graph paper and you can take the scale of 1 centimeter on this x-axis which shows project direction on it and this shows project cost y and we can pull the graph because the cost is not less than 4000 rather 9490 in any case so we can start with 9400 and maximum it is 10000 similarly we cannot go below 13 days so we can start with 13 days in case of duration and the maximum is 20 days under normal circumstances. In case of 13 days, the total cost is 9880. That will be here somewhere. Yes, in case of 13. In case of 14, it is 9750. Exactly between these two. I can draw a rough sketch only, but you please take care, draw on the graph paper with accuracy, utmost accuracy rather. In case of 15, it is 9620. 15, somewhere here. In case of 16, it is 9500, exactly. Yes, 9500. In case of 17, it is 9490. Yes. Now, in case of 18, it is 9660. 9660. In case of 18, yes. In case of 19, it is 9830. 9830. In case of 19 days, somewhere here. And in case of 20 days, it is exact 10,000. Yes, this is the situation. Let's attach the points and try to have a curve. Yes, this is the cow showing the relationship between 
duration of the project and project cost that means time cost relationship yes let's recognize some important points this is the least time cost point yes least time cost okay uh, this is the least cost time project yes least cost time point rather and one more thing we have is normal if we don't go for crashing this will be the situation yes normal time cost point normal time cost point i'm very sorry the pen is not working properly but you can see all these points in this chart also so this was the third part in which we tried to learn about the time cost relationship through a diagram or a graph so in this way we discussed everything about crashing that is time cost trade off as well as time cost relationship through the calculation of total cost as well as the diagram i hope you would be uh, say able to understand all the points on crashing through these three lectures on this case that's it thank you very much